guys, Betty Jen back again. Today's video is going to be about hyperhidrosis and jobs. A big thank you to the sweaty family member who suggested this video. I think it's very pertinent to talk about this subject because I know from firsthand that hyperhidrosis can really impact your experience in your professional life. So to begin, I will be talking about some of my experiences in this video and I'll also be talking about different fields of work that I think people with hyperhidrosis could be well suited for. Before I go any further, I do want to say if you have hyperhidrosis, you can really have any job within reason that a normal person can have. It's just that some jobs might be easier or more comfortable to work as someone with hyperhidrosis. Additionally, if you are struggling in your current profession because of your sweating or you're worried that your sweating will affect your future career path, please seek out the treatment of a dermatologist. You might need to get a referral from your primary care physician, but you will not regret it. They'll work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you figure out which treatment is the most effective and safest for you to take to help manage your hyperhidrosis. So to begin, I will start out by saying that I have quit jobs in part because of my sweating. The last full-time position that I had, a big part of why I could no longer work there was because the environment I was in was really against my hyperhidrosis. My boss really loved to have our office extremely hot. Every day it would trigger my sweating and I would be in wet clothes for over 10 hours a day. And finally one day I worked up the courage to talk to her about it. I explained my condition to her and I explained that the heat made it worse and she kind of just brushed it off and didn't change a thing about the heat in the office. So if you've experienced that before, I'm very sorry as well. I know how much it hurts. Another challenging part about that last job was there was frequent handshaking or people wanting to shake my hand when I would go into certain patients' rooms or with their families to teach them about diets they were on. They would, of course, want to shake my hand and then there would always be that awkward moment of not wanting to do it or explaining to them that you have a condition and that would happen several times a day so that became quite uncomfortable as well. Since quitting that job I have spent a lot of time thinking about different career paths that I might be interested in aside from nutrition and I've also been of course making YouTube videos which I love but unfortunately doesn't pay money. The next portion of the video we'll go into is the different fields that someone with hyperhidrosis might be a good fit for. I have not worked in all of these fields, so I can't say based off my experience I know it's great or not great, but these are just some thoughts that I've had. So the first one would be a remote job or a job where you work from home. I. I think those jobs are especially beneficial for those of us with hyperhidrosis because it completely eliminates the social aspect of the job. I know for me, a large part of the discomfort that came from working with hyperhidrosis was not having control over the environment I was in, temperature-wise or climate-wise, and also having to try to hide my sweat or not shake hands with people and things of that nature. So I know a lot of studies and people say that decreasing your time with people and decreasing your time socializing can worsen mental health issues. But I think for those of us with hyperhidrosis where socializing and things like that are what's making us sweat and making us anxious, decreasing those situations and not putting ourselves into them as often, I think that would actually help our mental health. A downside to remote jobs is that they are in very high demand right now with the coronavirus. More people are wanting to work remotely because they've lost their jobs or whatever reason. Additionally, the work does seem like it might be somewhat unpredictable depending on which job you're in or the pay may be unpredictable based on how much work you get. And lastly, it is harder to come by benefits like insurance and retirement fund like 
things like that through remote jobs than through your typical nine to five jobs. The next job that I think would be well suited for someone with hyperhidrosis are jobs like outdoor adventure instructors, swim instructors, or any outdoorsy jobs like that where you're around the water and you're doing physical activity. Being around the water and doing physical things will take your mind off of the fact that you have hyperhidrosis. Everyone around you will be sweating and wet, so you, you'll look much less inconspicuous. The con or the downside to working in a job like this with sweating is that we already have so much more fluid needs. We need to drink so much more water than the average person and we also need to make sure our electrolytes aren't getting all messed up from sweating so frequently. So if you do work an outdoorsy job or a physical job like this, it is even more important to make sure you're staying well hydrated and you aren't overexerting yourself and throwing your electrolytes off balance because that can be very dangerous. The next field I think those of us with hyperhidrosis might benefit looking into are mental and physical health professions. The reason why I think we'd be well suited to these jobs is that because we've experienced how difficult it is to live with a condition that makes our lives feel a lot harder, we're much more likely to naturally be compassionate to people who are suffering or who need help. The downside to this job is that it can be very emotionally taxing to hear sad stories or hear people's struggles every day. And there is the joke that if you're a therapist, you have to have your own therapist that you go see. So that is a downside. The next field that I think would be well suited for people with hyperhidrosis are office jobs like working in a call center or working in an IT department. I think any jobs where you work consistently with the same people each day and you don't have to deal with meeting many new faces and also these jobs are usually indoor and sedentary. I think these jobs will help minimize triggering of hyperhidrosis. I know I'm much less likely to sweat around someone that I know pretty well than, than somebody who I'm just meeting for the first time. And lastly, this is just kind of a jumble of multiple different professions. They are writer, artist, working with animals, computer programmer, gardening, and landscaping. In specific, working with animals, as I've talked about in my past video, the pets and hyperhidrosis one, animals don't judge us for sweating and they, they won't point it out or anything, so they're a great population to work with if you have this condition. With gardening and landscaping, those jobs can both be very meditative. If you're working outside with greenery and you're watching things grow, they can really bring a sense of peace and calmness to your mind. The downside to that is that with the sweating, if you're working with heavy machinery or tools like that, you're definitely more at risk for an injury because of your sweaty palms than someone without hyperhidrosis. So I apologize that I really have no perfect job or advice to give people looking for that, but I do understand how difficult it can be to work with this condition. That's part of why I do not have a full-time job at the moment. I have been looking into getting different jobs and I actually have a little side gig that's going to be starting that's a remote job soon. The pay and the workload seems like it will be very inconsistent, but I'll keep you guys up to date on how that goes. If you work right now and you have hyperhidrosis, what job do you have and do you like it or does your hyperhidrosis interfere with your day-to-day -day tasks? I'm very interested in hearing what you guys do for a living and if you have any advice for me on jobs that you think I would be well suited for working as a living because... I really don't know what I want to do right now, so if you know of any jobs that might be cool for someone with hyperhidrosis, please leave it down in the comments below. 
I am still doing the iontophoresis machine that I mentioned in my last video. I've been posting about that on Instagram almost every day. My handle is at Jen Sweaty if you'd like to follow along with that. Otherwise, I will see you guys very soon. Please give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more in the future. Bye.